Okay, we are going to move on to the next step in putting the sleeve into that existing garment that has a, a an armhole for it. So what I've done is I've pinned down my pattern that I just drafted and I cut it out with just some old cheap just woven fabric because I want to test it out and make sure this is going to work before I chop into my really good fabric. Um, make sure that when you cut it out, what I do, remember we have the two hash marks on the back. So I just do a little snip. See how I just snipped it? Snip, snip there and one on here. So as I pin in this sleeve into that hole, I know which is the side that faces the back and I know which is the side that faces the front. I've also measured up about two inches here and um, created another little hash mark. So there's a, just a tiny little nip there and a tiny little nip there. The first thing you're going to do, boink, when you remove your pattern piece, you're gonna hop on the machine and I'm gonna use a marker to show you where this is gonna go. You're going to do what we've done in the fashion class called a, um, a gathering stitch. And what that's going to do, it's gonna allow us to ease in this sleeve cap. So you're gonna come in, so if I have a half an inch seam allowance, you wanna do a stitch line that is less than half an inch on your widest setting of stitching. So this is a real loose stitch. If you're at like a four on your stitching, um, bring it the the higher the number the the wider that stitch is so the highest number for your stitch length you want on this and you're just going to go in you're not stitching anything together just separately you're going to do no back stitch just stitch right across the top of that do the same exact thing on the other side separately and we are gonna just barely gather. You hold the bobbin thread and pull that thread so that cap kind of gathers together. So hop on your machine, do a stitch on one sleeve, do a stitch on the other sleeve. You're creating uh, an ease stitch to ease this into the hole. So go do that and I'll give you an example of what mine looks like as soon as I'm done. Okay, I went over and stitched. I came in about a quarter of an inch and stitched a real loose stitch. This is a sleeve that I then attached the underarm seam. So we've got this one. You walked over to the machine like this, this flat one. Stitch your nice loose uh, quarter of an inch gathering seam. And, um, and then I'm gonna give you two different examples, how to set in a sleeve with a garment that is already built. So your underarm seam on this one is already been stitched as well as your shoulder seam. This is my, my green garment. So this one's already assembled. I think many of you have an already assembled top. So your side seam is stitched and your shoulder seam is stitched. If we want to insert a sleeve into this garment, then we need to stitch the underarm seam of that sleeve. So all you do is you take your, remember what is a right side, wrong side, right sides together, bloop, and you stitch that underarm seam. So I'm gonna walk you through how to attach a sleeve to an already existing garment that's um, together with a side seam and a shoulder seam. You first wanna check and make sure, okay, which side uh, does the sleeve go on? Remember how we did two little hash marks for the back and one hash mark for the front? So here's the front of my garment, right side facing out. Here is my first sleeve, and this is the right side of my sleeve because the wrong side would have the seam. So right side of my sleeve. If I was gonna lay this down, boop, that's how I want it to attach. Right side, right side. I wanna look and see, oh wait, I don't know if you can see this. 
This right here has the double hash mark right there, that double tuck uh, cut. So it doesn't go on this side of the garment. It goes on this side of the garment because I want the back of that sleeve where the double hash is to be facing the back of the garment. All right, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna just pretend, um, all right, this is how my sleeve is gonna get tucked in there, right side and right side. But if I just shove it in there and stitch, I'm gonna have seam allowances sticking out. And um, the way that we get rid of seam allowances is right side to right side, correct? So think about we want this side, which is the right side of your sleeve, and this side, which is the right side of the front of this blouse. We want those two right sides to be together. So an easy way to do that is to take your hand, ooch it up into your sleeve, okay? So that's my left hand ooching into the sleeve, like that. This right side needs to touch this right side. So I'm gonna pick up this garment and fold it over, fold it over on top of the right side of the sleeve. So when I open that sleeve there, I've got the right side to the right side. Align your underarm seam first. So see how I've got right side to right side? I'm gonna take that side seam, the underarm of the sleeve, take that side seam and match it to the underarm of my sleeve. Boop! That's the first pin. Once you get that first pin in, so I'm matching that, I like to open my seams. So I match my underarm seam of my blouse to the underarm seam of my sleeve, and I put a pin in that. I then work my way up to the top of the sleeve by putting in pins like so. So work your way around. This is a good time that you can double check that your back sleeve is landing on the back of your garment. So I just got to my little hash marks there. So I'm gonna put a little pin there. And then do you remember we created another set? It's that last hash mark is where our stitching started. You're gonna pin up to that hash mark. Remember that stitching? So pin right there before you get to the stitching. And don't pin any more around that top. You're gonna to go back down to that underarm seam and work your way up to the other side with that gathering stitch hash mark. So I'm working my way around, working my way around. There's my first hash mark to tell me it's the front of the sleeve. And that will get me to the second hash mark. See it right there? Second hash mark, boop, to get me to the sleeve cap. All right. So when you look at it, the very top of that sleeve has not been pinned down and it looks like, oh my gosh, I've got way too much fabric. Look at if I just sewed right across there, it'd be crazy. This is when you use your gathering stitch. You take one thread and start to pull that fabric along that thread, real gentle, just feed it along. See how the fabric is starting to gather together Boop, 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 it's easing in. I do it about halfway and then I come over on this side and pull this string and do the other half of it. And what you will find is as you distribute those little gathers, it starts to tuck into your sleeve hole. Boop, 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 boop. You are easing that piece in. Sometimes I'll start, before I even start pinning, I'll gather these two sides really tight. Um, so then all I'm doing is just basically loosening them for when I pop them in. Okay, so now that we've got that gathered, I'm gonna gather an itty bitty bit more over on this side. See how it just sort of now 
snugly pops into that armhole. Beautiful. Sometimes on suit jackets, um, you'll gather, 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 and then you can ooch this piece up a little bit higher uh, and it eliminates some of those bubbly things on men's coats. All right, so look at that. I've just pinned that sleeve into that armhole with right side to right side. This is where you're going to use your arm on your sewing machine because let's pretend this is the arm on the sewing machine. You pop it on like that and sew in a circle. Boop, 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 boop. Do a half inch seam allowance on that. All right. I just went in and stitched that half inch seam allowance in a circle. Boop your threads and then you will flip it right side out Boop. and there you've got a set in sleeve Boing. okay if you don't like all of those gathers uh, do one of two things you can ooch the top of that a little when I say ooch See all those gathers? You could actually move, keep this where it's at, but move the red a little higher up and that will get rid of some of those gathers. Or you could go back to your drafting, because this is my practice, and I can just reduce the peak of that top of the sleeve. All right, so that's the first one. That's with an existing garment. So now I'm gonna show you how to set in um, one that's still a flat garment. So see, boop, this was all existing. Thunk. What I did was I opened up my side seam here. Let me take the pin out. I don't have the side seam stitched any longer. There's my armhole. Let me move this over. There's my armhole. That's the back of the shirt. This is the front of the shirt, my left panel. And um, so back front and it's laying flat, right side up. I'm gonna take my open sleeve. This is the sleeve that I did not do a underarm seam on. I'm gonna gather this now. It's easier for me to have it gathered really tight at first and then loosen it as I go into pin. So as I'm gathering, I'm taking one string one thread and I'm pulling the fabric onto itself. So I'm creating a whole bunch of little gathers there. I do about halfway on this side and then I go in and I do about halfway on this side. This way of setting in a sleeve I find to be faster um, especially if you are stitching for like a show and you're making a whole bunch of blouses, uh, it's much easier to have them all just laid out flat on your table, pin them down and crank them out while you're at the machine. All right, so here we go. I've got uh, my gathered boop sleeve and I want it to sit in right here actually i want it to go this way because my i'm looking for my two hash marks see my two hash marks that's the back of my garment this is the front of my garment and um so it's going to sit like this finished correct so right side to right side boink and you're going to start remember this is your underarm seam and that's your underarm seam you're gonna start your sleeve hole right at the beginning there. Thunk, see how I worked my way over there? You're lining up that edge. So this seam, this edge of your underarm of the sleeve, and the green is the side seam underneath. That's your first pin. You wanna start right there, and then you're gonna work your way with this flat all the way around 
to the hash marks, okay? So here I am, I'm working my way around, working around all the way to that gathering seam. And then I'm gonna skip that gathering seam, take this end, match it up to this end, to your opposite ends. Yeah, I line those guys up nice and neat. Work my way to the top of the sleeve cap. There's my two double hashes. Working my way to the sleeve cap, all the way to that stitching. And now I am going to try to align those two layers. Can you see how I've got extra green? So if I have too much green fabric, then I loosen this up a little bit. Take some of those gathers out so that the red and the green match up just right. So see, that's matching up just right. Pin those guys down. And this way, if you pin it flat like this, then you don't have to worry about the arm of your sewing machine or any of that stuff. You're just gonna hop on the machine, stitch around that arch, um, and then we do a continual uh, side seam under the arm and then along the side of your actual garment. I'm gonna go stitch mine. I did that. I stitched in half of an inch all the way around. So now when I flip it, I'm gonna take that little side pin that was just a stay pin. When I flip it open, boing, I've got my sleeve almost set in. What I'm missing right now dunk, is, oh, oh threads drive me crazy, is this seam here that needs to go together, right? Because the, the sleeve bottom and the side of my garment have to go together. Right now I've got it at wrong sides together. See, so I was able to stitch that, and it's sometimes a nice, it's a cleaner little loop over the top of your armhole. So I need to go back to right sides together. I want these, I start with my sleeve, those right side to right side, dunk, and I pin that. See how nice and pretty and even that is? Pin that and pin that. And then you're gonna pin your side seam. Mine, I cut mine wonky, yours will be longer. Remember I chopped off the bottom. So I don't have an expectation that those meet because I cut them funny. Uh, but you would match up your underarm seam and then just stitch a continual seam. You'll come down, you'll come down like that. I like to open my seams pivot at your underarm and go down the rest of your side seam. So that's a pretty easy peasy way, especially if you're doing assembly line. Ooh, be careful, look, I caught the stitching. That got kind of wonky in there. I'm not gonna redo it. Be careful when you're stitching and don't do an Aaron Moots and catch your uh, fabric underneath. So there we go, we've got our set in sleeves. Bling. What beautiful colors you've used, Erin. I know, right? All right, there's one and there's the other. The last thing I'm gonna video before I move all of my equipment back to the school is how to adapt this pattern so you could do big leg of mutton sleeves, flare things out. I'm gonna show you how you would trace elements for the top of it. Okay, kick booty kids.